Hi, everybody. It's Raggedo7, and I would like to thank everybody who wished me a happy birthday on my wall. And um, that's on Facebook. And wow, thank you very, very much, guys. Okay. Let's go on with this tag by Jasmine. Question number one. If the whole world were listening to you right now, what would you say? Oh, my heavens. Okay, don't think. Don't judge and assume when somebody says something that you're pissed off, okay? Um, people like myself have a very... I don't know. I don't know. I said something as of recent. I think somebody took it the wrong way. And I think they had a little help by... Um, a shit stir to translate what I, what they thought I said. I'm not going to swear to it, but that's what I'm kind of thinking. Um, I, I don't, I don't, I'm, I think that when, if you, if you are questioning anything that somebody says to you, or, you know, uh, I guess, and especially when it's like a comment, you know, it can come off, like, so completely opposite, okay? Like, I think I pissed off my best friend because I said something, and I think she took it the wrong way, and it was not meant to be that way at all, whatsoever. And I also think that there was a little bit of help to maybe persuade the person to, you know, persuade her to think something else but I won't I won't swear to it it's just my gut feeling just a gut gut feeling all right two is what is your opinion on someone that's cheating on someone else I can't I can't give an opinion um, because first of all you don't know the situation you don't know what that person's thinking but sometimes, you know, things do happen, and it's it's a real shame um, that that does happen. Um, and I don't buy the, well, I was drunk, you know. But I do buy because of personal experience that um, I believe that certain pharmaceutical drugs will alter a person to the point where they will do things like that that are completely immoral. <laughs> um, that's why I feel that pharmaceutical drugs are evil, truly evil. I mean, yeah, people say, well, you know, you knew what you were doing. Well, yeah, you knew what you were doing, but the thing of it is you justified it in the wrong way. You did not rationalize what you were doing because you no longer have rationality. And it gets it, it gets people into a lot of problems, and it causes a lot of divorce that was unnecessary. I do not believe in an open relationship. I would kill Matt if he decided that was cool. Um, <laughs> I'd be like, all right, see ya, bye bye. But um, I don't think that it's necessary to be cheating on somebody if you love them enough and you're in a good frame of mind you should discuss your issues with that person before hopping in the bed with somebody else okay question number three is oh have you taken someone's virginity away I did I did one person that I know of Although I kind of wondered about my first, anyway, the first first person I was with, I, I don't know. It was just so pathetic that, anyway, uh, yeah. Again, that was really a stupid move on my part. Um, I, I, I wouldn't do it, I don't know, and... That's a really, really, really weird question for me, because it was a guy that I was with, and it was just 
a really god awful experience. It was terrible. It's one of those they think that women like it the way porn is played, okay? Women do not a decent person, okay, is how I look at it, is um not a decent person, but a person I guess that um doesn't have to play the whore. Okay, you know what I mean? And this person that I was with thought that all women liked it like a whore, okay? That's not true. That is not true, okay? You can have fun, you can do whatever, you know, but, um, you know, it's one of those, hi, how you doing? Let's get busy. You know, no, it's not like that, you know. So, um, you know what? You might want to stay away from them, especially at our age. <laughs> okay, uh, but no, I had, that was a long time ago. But I would not do it again. And I knew, but I didn't think that it was going to be that god-awful. But Next question, number four. Would you say that trust is a big issue for you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I don't trust very many people at all. I have very few, very, very few people I trust. Um, I don't... I have to know somebody a long time to trust them, fully, with my heart, with my soul, my my being, you know, um, I'm very cautious, because there's a lot of shit stirs out there, and I have, uh, I'm thinking that I might have one now, but I'm not certain, and, um, Sometimes just people are so stupid that you can see right through it. And uh, they play the game very well at first, and then it goes sour. Okay, next question is, if you could learn any language fluently, uh, what would it be? French. I like the sound of when somebody speaks French. I mean, they could sit there... <laughs> And call me a piece of crap and, you know, you dirt ball and all this stuff in French. And I'd be like, oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, that, like, that's kind of dingus I am. But no, I think it is very beautiful language. Um, it's one of the romantic languages, which I can understand. Uh, and I don't know. I would like to learn it, you know. Um. Whether or not I ever do, I don't know, but I, I think it'd be a lot of fun to try and all that. So, I used to speak Spanish, and I was doing really well, but I moved. I moved back up north, and there's really not that many Spanish people, Hispanic people, that that's their main language, you know. And um, there was a lot of people in the D.C. area that really didn't speak English, and so it was kind of like you had to learn some of it to be able to get by at certain things, like um, I worked in a restaurant when I was in high school, and a lot of the people that, you know, like were busting the tables and worked in the back, was cooking, whatever, they spoke Spanish, and you know, in order for me to communicate with these people, I had to learn a little bit of, of Spanish, and so, it was kind of cool, you know, and I don't mind, I understand that when people are new to the country, especially, uh, or new to a environment when it's a different language, you know, people, some people are so freaking rude, you know, they're like, you know, you need to learn the language, well, America's in a melting pot. Last I figured that one out. So, you know what? There are certain... If they treat people with respect, then you should treat them with respect. And some people honestly, genuinely want to learn our language and, um, and, and vice versa. And it does take time and it does take patience. And, um, well, I think that's important that we all kind of chill out on people. You know, because I think people are just getting a little too anal with certain things. And, you know, my mom's like, what is wrong with this world? She asked me today. And I was like, well, you know what? It's meant to happen. 
I'm like, y you need to take that class, okay? Because it's meant to be this way. And I said, you just got to continue on with your life and not let that negative stuff hinder you, right? And I've noticed people are being like overly sensitive lately. Even when you, maybe I come off wrong, okay? But sometimes I'll say stuff and I'll be like, oh my God, that was so freaking rude. I can't believe you said that. And it's like, oops, you know, I didn't mean it that way. And they won't talk to you or try to work this out. So, oh, well, c'est la vie. Hey, isn't that French? <laughs> okay, guys, I love you. Peace be with you. Take care. As always, love you. Bye-bye.